Hello everyone! Thanks for joining us on our Digital Nomad Diary series. We are currently in Washington, D.C. and we're going to be here for pretty much the entire month of December uh, through Christmas and New Year's. We're going to be in this area and we're really enjoying it so far. Yeah, so right now we're currently in, uh, we're doing a house sit through a service called Trusted House Sitters. And if you're not familiar with what the service is, it's basically just uh, a huge website where people are looking for house sitters. They put up their house and for free, you get to stay in their house, watch their pets, make sure the house is maintained, get the mail, that type of stuff. So it's a perfect thing for digital nomads. And this is our very first experience and we couldn't be any happier. Like we've been here for a week, we're leaving today. Um, they have two pups here, they have a lab and a golden retriever. And it's actually kind of sad to leave. We don't want to yeah, leave. Yeah, we're no. going to miss them. They're so sweet. They're really great dogs, and we've just had a really good time with them. Yes, yes. And we've been walking every day with them, so we've been getting our exercise. Yeah, definitely. They so, like to walk. <laughs> this is definitely a service that even after we're done doing our digital nomad um, journey, we were talking about it, we're still going to just probably do this because this service is like really awesome. <laughs> like, so <laughs> if you... Even even if you live in an area and you just want to get away for a week or two, there's people probably all around you that are looking for sits, you know. So yeah. look into it. It's called Trusted House Sitters. Yeah, we'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. If you just want to take a vacation somewhere, it may be worth looking into seeing if there's a house sit. Yeah, yeah. So you can use our affiliate link below. Yeah. Yeah. So what have we been doing while we've been here? Well, one thing we did was go to one of the air and space museums. And if you didn't know this, there's actually two air and space museums in this area. We didn't know. We thought there was just one in like the downtown DC area, but there's actually one in Virginia. So we went to that one because it was a little bit closer to where we're staying right now. And it was really awesome. We had a great time. Uh, the Space Shuttle Discovery is there. So, fun fact, Mark actually saw the last launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery in 2011, so it was really cool to be able to go and see the Space Shuttle up close. They also have some Mars rovers there and a lot of really cool planes from like World War II and Vietnam and Korean War. Uh, it was a really interesting museum. We really enjoyed that. That same day, we also wanted to check out some local food and a local brewery. So we went to a local place not far from the Space Museum. Uh, there's a small little Mexican place. So what I like to do is, uh, when we're traveling, I like to make sure that I go out of my way to find the small local places that have like authentic food because we're not into fancy restaurants and a lot of times I don't even want to sit in a restaurant and have a waiter and all that. So. This was a really good Mexican place where you just uh, put an order at the counter. Uh, you could also have a waiter if you wanted, but the food was served really quick and it was very authentic. So after Mexican food, I wanted to check out a local brewery which wasn't far, it's called Ocelet Brewery. Uh, so this place was really cool for a lot of different reasons. One of them was it's in a bigger location so you didn't feel cramped like some of these breweries that we've been to. Um, they had really cool artwork and they also had a whole nother separate wing which had pinball machines uh, and a few small arcades. So to me this almost felt like if you've ever been to like a barcade, it was almost like that in a separate part of the brewery. So this was a really cool experience and I highly recommend you check out this brewery. Another museum that we visited while we've been staying here is the Museum of Health and Medicine. This is another really cool museum. Uh, it's totally free to get in. A lot of the museums in Washington, D.C. are free, so that's really awesome because you can check out a lot of different things. So we wanted to go here because we're really into some of the medical oddity stuff. Uh, when we lived in Philly, one of the museums that we really liked was the Mutter Museum, and it's a museum full of his medical research and oddities and a lot of like the old instruments and stuff that they use. So this had some of that, um, but it also talked a lot about like medicine um, through like war times and stuff, so it was really interesting. One really cool thing that they had was um, part of the bullet that shot Abraham Lincoln. So they had a whole uh, part of the museum dedicated to that. So that was really interesting to see and um, they had a lot of just really cool artifacts and and things that you probably can't find in a lot of places um, but this is all stuff that we need to do research on so we can improve our um, medical techniques and the way that we treat people 
So what have we been doing work-wise? We've been pretty busy uh, for December. We've been working a lot on recording some new videos for our channel, uh, specifically related to SEO. One thing that we really want to do in 2020 is grow this YouTube channel and create more valuable videos for you. Yeah, so well, we're gonna try to create a lot more videos like she said. They're just gonna be quick videos on tutorials on how to do something or, you know, so if we come up with anything uh, work-wise that can make a good video, I'm just gonna make it rather than uh, not document it or anything. So for example, we just created one on how to uh, submit a new URL to Google. A lot of people didn't even know that you could do it yeah. instantly and have Google crawl your website. So it's very valuable, just stuff that I do every day, yeah. um, which I think is gonna be useful for people out there, so. Yeah, so you can expect more content like that. Shorter videos, tutorial based stuff um, is what we're gonna be focusing on in 2020, but also videos like this where we're documenting the places that we've been. Uh, we also got a really great opportunity to work with a client from Australia on branding and web design. So we've been working on that as well. And that's been a really fun project. The time change is a little bit mm -hmm. difficult because it's, the next day right now over there so we have to kind of coordinate when we talk and communicate to each other but it's been a really good experience and i'm really excited to launch this new website that we're building for him mm -hmm. yeah and it kind of goes to show that technology uh it doesn't really matter where you live or what you right. do so we're traveling the u.s and he's in australia and we, we didn't have any issues with communication it's simple like yep. so we're gonna maybe open up the doors to more possibilities with international clients. Um, mm -hmm. We've always just been kind of working with the US, so hey, we might be working more with international in the future, so. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely open to it. It's been a good experience so far. Um, and on our travel website, we launched a brand new article this week on all the casinos in Atlantic City. So there's nine casinos in Atlantic City and we ranked them based on their atmosphere, the restaurants, the entertainment, the actual casino floor and a couple other things. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out and we'll leave a link to that down below as well. Yeah, our friend Richard helped us out with that because he's been to a lot of these places and yeah. really gave us a lot of Shout out to Richard, he's the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, so it's our biggest article. Yeah, I just wanted yeah. to add, this was like over what, 5,000 words? It was almost 5,000 words. Yeah. So it's a pretty long in-depth article, but we had a lot of fun writing it. Um, it's it took us a while because we had to do the research and and actually go to all these places so this is kind of like over the years that we lived in philly and we would go to atlantic city this is just all the information that we've gathered yeah. you know, from visiting the places just put into one yeah big we, we want this post to be like our big post right now because we want everybody to read it because there's not i haven't really found any good information out there on these casino reviews so i just we felt like there was a need for it and yeah. we'll see if it grows yeah, but that's the purpose of that yeah. so that's what we've been doing this week um join us in a couple weeks with another video part two of our dc journey um and if you like these type of videos let us know down below um and ask us any questions if you have any questions for us about digital nomad life or the tools we use anything leave a comment down below and we'll maybe make a video on that. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye. Bye.